thinking back on my own personal relationships with, with big products throughout my life, bagels really started to speak to me. Because I'm from the South, I'm from Raleigh, and growing up down here, I didn't really have like a huge cultural, historical relationship with bagels. They were always sort of this venue or an, like an avenue for sandwiches. And I didn't love them as a kid, and, and then as an adult, I didn't love them. So as a baker, an adult baker, I started to think about why I didn't love bagels. Like, what, what is it about bagels that I'm not in love with, like everyone else seems to be? And so then it was like, I don't know, kind of this challenge in the back of my head, like, can I make a bagel that I connect with? Can I make a bagel that is something that I feel confident in and something that I would want to share with my friends and family in Raleigh? So the obvious first step was to use some fresh milk flour in the bagel, to maybe some employ some of the same techniques that we use a bolted in, in the bagel. And the first few tests I did were awful. You know, just, I, I tried to, um, I, I, I don't know, like I, I tried to like razzle and dazzle the bagel and it, um, it just wasn't working out. So I had to like really take a step back and understand the bagel for what it was first before I started to transform it and, and turn it into something I was proud of. So I, I got like a very basic bagel formula, started from there, started testing that out, nailed that after baking it a few times. Like, okay, like I understand the form, I understand the whole process. And what I think the first few mistakes that I made were that I, I didn't give enough respect to sort of how violent the bagel process is. You know, you get this pretty stiff dough compared to a lot of bread doughs. Really kind of like a, give it a, an aggressive mix. It gets a, a long proof and then you like shove a hole in it. You boil it in a, a bath of like boiling water and honey. It rests and then you put it on a board and it goes into a wood fired oven right next to this giant flame. So it's like a pretty gnarly process from beginning to end. It's, it's less sort of uh, gentle and meditative than bread is. And so the, the challenge then became to like create a dough that could stand up to that, that sort of violence, but also was well fermented, was made with these flours that taste so good to have like this sort of like open crumb and, and mouthfeel that I was sort of shooting for. Thank you.